Welcome to Home Sweet Home. Every week, the best home experts on the Sun Coast reveal their best tips and best tricks for inspiration and transformation. It's your beautiful home hotspot. This week, outdoor living at its finest. Hi, my name is Amy Hummel. And I'm Danielle Krausick. Today we are in Nokomis, Florida at the beautiful Toscana Isles. So my name is Brady Quick, and this is my wife, Rennie Quick. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we've been in this house for about six months. Uh, it was uh, already pre-designed by someone else who walked away from it, and so we bought it when it already was designed, but we made some changes when we moved in. Um, so we ripped out all the tile inside, and then it didn't have a pool, so we decided, that we knew when we were moving in here that we wanted to uh, build a pool. So we did that. We came from Lakewood Ranch um, before here, and we came to this place because of the view, because the view is gorgeous. When we got married three and a half years ago, we lived in Bradenton, and it was a nice little house, but it had no view. There was a hedge behind our house. We had about 10 feet. There was a pig next door, literally, that lived in the lanai next door, <laughs> oink, oink. And uh, so we said, we know what, we need some serenity. So we bought a house in Lakewood Ranch, moved there. It was amazing. Beautiful backyard, tons of um, seclusion. Selby Gardens. Yeah, it gorgeous, beautiful. gorgeous pool, 80 foot palm trees. I mean, it was awesome. But then the hurricane came and Irma. we realized that there was so much trees. Um, there was so much debris and we were really at risk. It was an older home. And so we decided to get out of there and find a place that was very simple, maintenance free, hurricane proof. And so that's why we chose this place because the, how, the windows are 160 mile an hour uh, hurricane impact. Um, none of the grass or the trees or none of the maintenance we have to deal with, we don't have to do anything. So it's, it's just a simple house, More simple life. but we were addicted to the whole hot tub pool thing. And so that's we why we had one there, and we started using the hot tub every night. And we didn't think we would because it, you know, it's Florida, it's hot. But at night, before you go to bed, that was our time to be together, to talk about our day, unwind. Mm -hmm. And it actually brought us closer together because it's like you get to, you know, spend time together instead of watching TV and going to bed. So we, when we moved here, there wasn't a pool. So. Um, and we knew we wanted a pool with a hot tub again because that's the time that we really spent quality time together. So mm. we were like, we definitely got to have that. So, so that's what we did. <laughs> All right, so this pool, John, definitely had a little challenges with space, it looks like, on this one. And you got to get up out of that chair and uh, come out here and do some work too, huh? Yeah, burned off a little calories, don't I? Cool. So uh, tell me, you know, what you guys had to look out for in construction and why the pool is shaped the way that it is. Well, anytime uh, you're working in tight spaces, especially when you got the water behind you, you usually need about uh, 10 to 12 feet to work around the pool. And when you have the trough like that, it adds even more of an obstacle. So a lot of people like to, especially on negative edge, go all the way out to the water. That is a possibility if you want to dig the, with the pool with a shovel. But other than that, we tried to go out as far as we could, and a lot of times there's setbacks and uh, everything else. So this one, it, it is not your large pool from width, but again, pools in Florida are just to get wet and to relax. So I'm sure if the homeowner had the room and the option to do it all over again, they probably would still go with this because it has everything they need from a bench to the sun shelf to the spa. I like how we did this long bench along the side here, and that's probably because of how close we are to the house, right? To keep us, to give us our angle of repose so we're not undermining the house. Correct. And then, um, and another really cool thing is this long infinity edge wall. We don't typically do them that long, like the whole length of the pool. I bet that takes a lot of uh, precision work, huh? Correct, is why water doesn't lie, so. It takes a lot of lasers and a lot of time, a lot of concrete mudding everything up so it's nice and level and setting all the tile. Correct, right, because the stuff doesn't come in a mold. Uh, you know, it's all done by hand and when they shoot the shell, it's all done by hand. So when our in-house uh, tile crew comes in, they spend a couple days just doing all mud work. 
and uh, that's the most important thing. Water does not lie, and you don't want to find out after the pool's already filled and it's done. So, but yeah, like you said, usually we go half of this, uh, like 20 foot for a negative edge. Of course, you know it drives the price up by uh, going this whole way, but I wouldn't have it no other way. It, it looks awesome. Yeah, it really looks great. Well, I am a very particular person when it comes to design and the way something feels, the interior. So I had an idea of th what the inside should look like. So when we bought this house, we actually semi-gutted it, <laughs> which is crazy because it's a brand new house. So I wanted that same flow and look outside. So we let Danielle know and um, sort of the style we wanted, more straight lines, more very simple. Um, I didn't want a lot of curves and just more modern. And so she designed something for us that was perfect. Like I didn't have to tweak it all. She like understood where I was coming from. And so she, you know, and then we went to the office and tweaked it a little bit, but it was, it was perfect. And then we had to make the decision on whether we want to do the infinity edge or not. And so we tried to, we knew it was going to be expensive to do that. It's more money, obviously. So we, uh, we did draw up a, a small portion of the pool with the infinity and then Johnny looked at it and said, no, you, you can't do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna let you do that. You gotta do the whole thing. So that's when we did uh, infinity edge across the whole length of the pool. I think it's, I don't wanna say 40 foot. I, don't, I can't remember the exact dimension, but, and we're glad we did because it's with the water view, it's totally cool. Yeah. I mean, the sunsets are ridiculous here. Yeah. Um, it's, we picked the right side of the lake with the sunsets. Um, and it's just every night there's a new picture with the sunsets. There's not two that are the same, and so we get to see that every day. It's amazing. And what's nice too is from the inside, we enjoy the pool with the lake because the house literally, because of the infinity, it looks like the house is floating on water. It looks mm -hmm. like we're in a boathouse. Not, I mean, <laughs> right. you cannot see anything but mm -hmm. water. Yep. And it's very calming and relaxing. And it's, you know, I really enjoy that a lot. Mm -hmm. And we use the pool every day. So we're not, it's not just for the view. We actually use it. We're in the, like we did at the old house. We, we're in the spa every night before we go to bed. That's our relaxed time, unwind. And then that's it. All right, so John, tell me a little bit about what goes into the figuring out the size of this trough because I do have a lot of uh, clients that come in to my office and, um, you know, that's something whenever we talk about Infinity Edges that you definitely have to take an account for. So tell me what goes into, you know, sizing the trough and why it needs to be so big and, and how we lay it out. First of all, you have this wall here where the water goes down. Uh, that usually has to be at least a foot wide. So you have that and you need at least two foot six of the trough for a guy to put pebble finish in there. You need to be able to work. And then his last beam is a 12 by 12 footer, which your cage sits on. Yeah. So you, let's say one, two, six, one, it's four, six. All right, so there's four, six that should go into the pool and it takes it up. So you always have to remember that when you're designing it and the homeowner, it's hard to see on paper, but you know, now that it's finished, you see what, you know, we're talking about that you need that room. We've seen some before where they try to shrink, try to shrink and make it work and you can tell the difference. Uh, you know, this wall right here holds all your water. And as you can see all the tile, we put the tile going down this way and down the wall. Uh, a lot of negative edges are on, you know, canals or uh, the golf and stuff where people can drive their boats. There's no boats out here. So we really didn't have to put the tile, that's a lot of tile, but you know, we wouldn't have it no other way because, you know, look how it looks. It's, it makes the pool. Well, yeah, when you're standing out here, it makes it look really nice. And then we also put some lights down in the trough too, right, to shine the, the backlight, the uh, infinity. Right, we got yeah. some uh, glow brights. Uh, at first, uh, when we first started doing them, we never did it. Now we put, uh, I think this has four to six lights in here. Yeah. So we got them on each end and then this way. So at night, if you want to just turn on the trough, it lights it up, it lights up the cage, and it's on a different transformer. So you can have a different colored light down here than what you have in the pool and what you have in a spa. Uh, another good thing that we do standard is all our pool spas are on separate transformers. So if you want to have the spa light off and the pool light on, you can. If you want to have the pool light on like a blue and the spa light on a red, you can do that. 
So this also has its own transformer. So you got three different transformers. You're gonna have all different types of uh, colored uh, light shows. So the, one of the things that I really enjoy, and it's, it's a way to get your grandkids and kids over more often, <laughs> is having a pool because, you know, I, I would have to like beg for them to come over. I'd have to always go over there. Now that there's a pool here, it's like, hey, mom, can we come over and let the grandbaby swim, and get tired? So I really, really enjoy that. And then oh. when we have friends over, they have kids and I mean, we've had pool parties with kids everywhere and it's really enjoyable to watch kids really having fun mm -hmm. in the pool. And there's so many features with the pool. Actually, the little ones like the hot tub because it, they feel safe in there. And then the ledge, they sort of play there, sit and hang out there. And then here they swim and jump and do all those kinds of things. So mm -hmm. it's, it's nice because there's a lot of different features in this pool. So for different ages, they can enjoy. And then obviously the adults, they do whatever they want. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to come over and talk about the other end of the pool because there's a lot going on on this end. So, uh, so I really like a, you know a 360 spillway spa, and this one we did flush to the deck, right? Yeah. So it doesn't raise up out over the pool or anything. That was a really nice touch because of the space here, because usually what we would leave about a foot of trough around the spa, so you could step into it and then walk over to it. Yeah, a foot to 16 inches. Uh, we went eight inches here. It's really, you know, about six inches, seven inches time you have to hang over here from the coping. Uh, just enough to get your pool brush in there and just enough for the guys to trial that uh, the pebble in there. But it makes it look real seamless. And again, you have to remember, you have to step in and then get down. Like if you go any farther or less, you know, it's it, this is just perfect. It turned out awesome with uh, what we went with the with doing it flush spa, yeah, it's nice. And then another thing I really like is doing the U-shaped bench in the in the spa instead of putting seating all the way around. Yeah, and, uh, he laughs about that because I'm on them big time all the time. When they turn in a spa, sometimes they have that bench 360 around. All right, your spas are six by six. So let's just say me and Ben are sitting in there and you got that bench 360 around, we're gonna be hitting knees, you know? So if you leave one spot open, it opens up the spa where you can get more people in it. This one, we left this open so they can stand there, look that way. Yeah. It just gives you a lot and more room. And it's cool the way it, get trans, trans, uh, it, it goes from the spa to the sun shelf to the pool. You could just jump over that wall, get on your sun shelf, get right in your pool. It looks really nice. It's a good layout. And then I also like you know having that sun shelf right off of there. Because one of the big things, and I talk about it all the time, and I talk about it with clients all the time, is people love to congregate. So having all of your seating areas in the pool and in the deck area and in the lanai, I think that's huge. So, you know, people can be sitting here in the spa, people can be sitting on the sun shelf, and also with little kids, it's great because spa, sun shelf, these are probably the two most usable spaces for little kids. So, you know, to be able to be close to them, it's really nice. Yeah, correct, uh, especially when you have a flush spa like that, it makes it easier for, you know, from kids to elderly to get out and over to into the sun shelf or into the pool or into the deck. You yeah. know, if you got raised air, you got to step up and over. And our beams are always 12 inches because they're pre-plumbed. So, you know, the higher you go, it's harder to step, especially when you're coming out of water. Yeah. So that works perfect for this type of pool. With the color selection, we had to match the inside of the house that we did travertine already and we had travertine in our other house, so we really loved the look of it. Very easy to take care of, and it's like really cool looking. So we had that to connect with, and Rennie is the design partner of the uh, relationship, yeah. and so I really let her take care of that, picking the tile, picking the colors, and she knew exactly what she wanted, and I just get out of the way and let her, <laughs> let her go. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I pulled up the light vein cut travertine for you because I know you were trying to find a color that matched very similar to the interior mm -hmm. of your house and I know you wanted something that looked as flawless as possible mm -hmm. to lead on out. So this is what I found was going to be 
the best color option for you guys? Was this kind of what you were thinking, yeah, Running? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, it looks just like the travertine okay. in the house. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's, I feel like that's going to be your best option okay. um, as far mm -hmm. as the travertine. The mm -hmm. next thing we'll pick out is your tiles. Okay. And then we'll go into interior color. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down about three or four. I'll okay. Do process of elimination. All right. I, I like blues. Okay. So if we could stay in the blues. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And do you... Um, like the idea of a six by six tile versus glass tile, where are you feeling uh, like that? I think glass, don't you? Okay. Glass would be good. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna, like I said, pull down a few for you and then okay. you can kind of let me know what your thoughts are Okay. Going, and see if I'm even in the right direction okay. or if I'm completely off kilter okay. for you. Okay. All right. Got these three. Mm -hmm. And so a little bit of differences between them. So you've mm -hmm. got shiny iridescence, which is going to shimmer. Mm -hmm in the pool when the light hits in different directions you're going to have a variation of color mm -hmm. and then you have a mixture here with the glass the matte and then also mm -hmm. some iridescence and then you've okay. got a little bit of turquoise and blues in here that one's pretty too that are shiny yeah they're all they're all beautiful it's hard to does your eye it's drag like, to more than the other um uh, which one do you like yeah, I like that one too. Okay. What is it the has a, like behind the, it that you like it? I like the texture. Yeah. Okay. And I like that it picks up a lot of other colors than just blue. Agree. Like I see, it almost has like a peacock kind of. Yeah, it has that gold. Yeah. Color. Like depending on yes. how the light hits, I like that. Yeah, I, like, I think with your color scheme of your house, I think that it'll go yeah. really well. Yeah. I like this one too, but um, I think this one sort of draws my eye more. And okay. this one. I think it has a little too much green. Okay, in so it. this one's out. So yeah. now these are the two, yeah. which is great because mm -hmm. that'll help you narrow it down a little bit more. Okay. Um, so my question to you is do you want to see variation? Do you want it to kind of all be the same? Like, what is your style? Do you like things to be simple? Okay, nice and simple. Mm -hmm. So what I would draw more to, and I think your eye already did as well, mm -hmm. would be this one. Right. Um, yeah, this with, is a little busier. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. going to have those pop of dark colors pop right. out a little bit more, mm -hmm. and that might not be something that appeals right. to your eye. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so I yeah. think you kind of just made your decision yeah. for yourself. There you go. That's, <laughs> That's it. good. That's yeah, perfect. perfect. All right. That was easy. Yeah. So now the harder part um, okay. is the interior color. I know between conversations, I know, Renny, you really like a really blue water. Yeah, I like the Caribbean yeah. kind of look. Um, I'm more drawn to like these colors right here. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I want, yeah, I like we want blue water. Okay. Cool, right? Okay. Yeah, so let's look at some photos, um, okay. just so that you can see the difference between the two, because you can have whatever color you want, obviously, but mm -hmm. we definitely want to keep in mind, and I know you had mentioned about the lake and wanting it right. to look a little bit flawless, because right. the blue would look absolutely beautiful. Right. Yeah. But I know you did mention that you really want it to look, you know, not like it's so bright compared yeah. to the water you're looking out to, yeah. since we are doing the endless yeah. water Yeah, I didn't feature. think about that, actually. And it's something you don't, no. actually. I didn't either until he mentioned it. Right. So thank and you I, for mentioning yeah. that. I sent Johnny that picture of the of the water so you could kind of like okay like so the, do you think this would work these? well let's look at some photos okay and then we'll see um so i'm going to pull up that blue one for you so that you can see so oh yes yeah. so it's very blue once right. the water's in and your surroundings yeah, I think that's pretty mm -hmm. so your surroundings make a difference as well so choosing a blue tile with the blue interior is going to make it more blue right so you can absolutely have that but is that really what you're wanting right, right, right. you're wanting it to look like a seamless right, yeah right, right. so from inside the house Looking at the pool as it's bright blue, and then looking at the lake if it's darker, it's gonna look weird. It may. It's not only weird; it's just not the flow. Correct. Right, right, right. Yeah, and we you want know, it to look like part of this, the lake. These two are the most popular colors. It's you know, it's inviting to jump in. It's yes. blue, but right. with your situation, I would say go a little bit darker. Right. Okay. So, so which I'm one gonna, would you recommend? I'm gonna pull that up for okay. you now. So just so that you can see, um, as you can see, they chose darker tiles. So yours will be a little bit brighter, even still, but mm -hmm. they um, actually live in the same development as you okay. so they oh. as well wanted it to look dark okay and for it to all kind of flow together so okay this will definitely be as true to life yours maybe again a little bit brighter just because you have yeah. different the, lighting right and you have different surrounding right colors. right right and that all changes your mm -hmm. choice for your pool color mm -hmm. okay all right okay yeah, I think that makes more sense yeah so which one would which you one would that be so that would be the Tahoe blue okay which one's that this one this correct one. so okay. you can even see the difference it has the darker pebbles yep. and it's a group uh, blue gray base mm -hmm. rather than a straight blue base right so that will look that'll match more the lake because it'll have more like the color of the right. lake. okay yeah it'll have okay. more natural appeal I gotcha Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, Very we didn't good. think about that. Yeah. So that's good to know. Uh, so the last thing we have to decide, I know we already discussed we want an open view cage, would just be the color. And yeah. I feel like bronze is the only way to go. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. white in that no. <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't even think we're allowed to anyway. Oh, even so. better. Yeah. So, yep, bronze is the way to go. So, okay. and then for your step diamonds. 
Oh, okay. Uh, we can just go ahead and use these I would and rather. actually create a diamond out of that. Mm -hmm. Gerardo, he's an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, that's who does your tiles. So he'll be able okay. just to take your waterline tile and create a step diamond in okay. your yeah, stairs for that. Yeah, because that keeps you it can sit. the same kind of theme going. Yeah. If yeah. you want to keep it consistent, that's right. your best bet. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. good Sounds good. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. We're awesome. excited. <laughs> Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Eurotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Buying or selling? Home inspections are not only vital when buying, but selling a home too. They can save you money and speed up the sales process. For questions, call Dave Marvel, certified master inspector and educator at Peace of Mind Home Inspections, a veteran and family-owned company. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Anytime you're on the water, or to me, Again, I tell these guys all the time, if I was selling pools, every single cage would have an open view like this. This open view is to my, you know, again, I have a fence in my backyard and I have an open view. It's the only way to go. It opens up everything from, you know, the sides, you got nothing over there, to the sides over here, and then your view. You know, it, it makes your view awesome. Uh, this open view is a little bit different because of the drop down. It drops down three foot. Usually uh, all the other pool decks are flat. so. Ben, uh, explain a little bit what we got going on here with, uh, you know, extension up top there. Yeah, so, uh, well, first we did it, we centered the span in the center of the opening. So when you're inside looking out, you're looking at straight opening. And then the top though, this one in particular, because the screen wall drops down with the infinity edge about three foot, it, it made the uh, screen too tall to get in one section. So we had to put a, um, an upper rail to splice the screens together. And actually, it turned out really nice with the style the homeowners like and that kind of more industrial feel. It, it looks really it looks really cool and, and matches inside to outside real well. Um, but like John is saying about the open view cage, you know, when you have a view, this is probably the only way to go. You know, besides not having a cage, you get all the bug protection and you still have minimal um, chair rails and uprights and any kind of cage structure. What do you mean about bug? Explain the bug and explain isn't there a better warranty too on the bug? Well yeah so so this screening and, the, and that's another thing too the open view cages that we install come standard with an upgraded screening. It's called tough screening. It's a coated screening. It's much stronger and it uh, comes from a 10-year ma manufacturer's warranty. Um, but down here for a person like myself I get eaten alive by bugs. The cage is necessary down here. Um, you know, one of the big things that I, I tell every one of my clients and anybody that I talk to about a pool is, you know, we're, we're building you outdoor living space kind of with a pool. And to be able to enjoy this space year round, uh, to me, you have to have a cage. I do want to say, though, that I had a very good experience with all the people that were here working. They were very friendly, very respectful. I didn't have anybody coming in and you know, I didn't hear bad language, I didn't see smoking, I didn't see anybody disrespecting my property. And um, actually, the whole, all the guys um, were, you know, very friendly and nice, and um, I, I appreciated that too. I have to give credit to Johnny's mom and dad and the way they raised him, because Billy is just, he's meticulous on quality, on how he runs his business. and. 
Johnny does the exact same thing. And so it's all about people, the experience, taking care of the customer. You don't, it's sad to say, but you don't find that in Florida very often. And it goes back to the roots in Michigan. And um, they're just, every person that came here, they have been trained to be polite, how to be, you know, how to deal with people. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. And so, I mean, ridiculous in a good way, right? They, they really do a good job of that. I was totally impressed with how they handled everything. And then when we first signed up, they said, yeah, we'll be done in like 30, roughly around 30 days. And I'm like, yeah, right. I'm thinking, wow, man, it's, okay, we'll see. <laughs> and sure enough, I mean, 30 days, we, were, we had water in the pool and we we're ready to go. It was unbelievable. So um, that was, it was very impressive. And it's a family business. Yeah. And, and you can feel that it's a family business. They take pride in, in their work and, and what they do. So there's a big difference than when you maybe have a company that yeah. they don't really care. So yeah. You see the difference. Mm -hmm. We just want to say thank you to Danielle and Johnny and Superior Pools for our beautiful pool. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you for allowing us to build oh, this for you. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. With our pleasure. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. Hey. 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 <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on this outdoor living edition of Home Sweet Home. If you would like to watch this episode again or learn more about our experts, visit homesweethomefla.com. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom-built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The Moore Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the Moore Space Place. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Murotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Buying or selling? Home inspections are not only vital when buying, but selling a home too. They can save you money and speed up the sales process. For questions, call Dave Marvel, Certified Master Inspector and Educator at Peace of Mind Home Inspections, a veteran and family-owned company. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours.